you can see clearly down below. This is the highest point on this bridge crossing the, the Alabama River. We were walking in twos. There was not any singing. We were all very quiet. No one saying a word. But down below we saw a sea of blue. Mm -hmm. Alabama State Troopers. And behind the state troopers was members of Sheriff Clark Posse riding horseback. We continued to walk and we came within hearing distance of the state troopers. And a man spoke up and said, I'm Major John Cloud of the Alabama State Troopers. This is an unlawful march. It will not be allowed to continue. I give you three minutes to disperse and return to your church. And Jose Williams, from Dr. King's staff, mm -hmm. SCLC, said, Major, give us a moment to kneel and pray. And before we could pass the word back for people to kneel and pray, the Major said, troopers advance. And these men put on their gas masks. They came toward us, beating us with knife sticks, bull whips, tramping us with horses, and released the tear gas. We were beaten all the way back from the foot of the bridge, and we would get to that point. Right, my dear, she was just a little girl. She told her, Jose said, son, they're gonna gas us. It's a great picture of Jose holding his face. They start pushing us. People start trying to outrun the horses and the tear gas. And Jose pick you and the friend up, and she said, put me down. You're not running fast enough. <laughs> but somehow, in some way, I don't know, I was hit in the head by a state trooper with a nightstick. Had a concussion at the foot of the bridge. My legs went to come under me. I thought I saw death. I thought I was going to die. 46 years ago tomorrow, I don't know how I made it back to the church, but I recall being back at the church and someone asked me to say a few words. And I stood up and said something like, I don't understand it. How President Johnson can send troops to Vietnam, but cannot send troops to Selma to protect people designed to register to vote. And the next thing I knew, is 16 other people, we had been admitted to the Good Samaritan Hospital, where a group of sisters took care of us. But because of what happened on this bridge, there was a sense of righteous indignation all across America. There was members of the United States Senate in the House spoke out. The late Senator York of Texas took to the floor and made a classic statement. That shame on you, George Wallace. President Johnson invited Governor Wallace to come to Washington to try to get the assurance that he would be able to protect us. And he could not assure the president. Went in, into federal court, subpoenaed the film of CBS. John Doe was there representing the federal government, the Department of Justice, Gary. Fred Gray represented the movement. And George Frank Johnson saw the film footage of CBS. He recessed the court, shook his robe, came back a few minutes later and granted us everything that we had requested. And 300 of us marched all the way to the edge of the city of Montgomery. And then by the time the next day when we got ready to walk into the city, there were more than 25,000 people. People came up far away. Some Americans that were living in Europe, they came. There were Americans coming from all over the world to participate in the march. There was a delegation from Hawaii that came and brought layers for us to walk that day. And so today, we walk in the steps, the footprints of another generation they gave a little blood to redeem the soul of America. They have created a more perfect union. And I think 
all of the members of Congress and the delegation for faith and politics for being here. Thank you so much.